Good morning, Storytime friends. Welcome back to Time for Tales. I'm Miss Corinne, and boy, I am excited to be here with you today to share another cool story with you. You may have heard the story of Little Red Riding Hood, but have you ever heard the story of Lan Papua? Well, it's a little bit like Little Red Riding Hood, but this story is actually from China, and it's about a little girl and a big bad wolf, and well, I think I should just tell you the story so I don't spoil anything. But first, you know what we have to do? We've got to sing our story time song. The more we get together, going to go over to the Shadow Puppet Theater. Once upon a time in China, there lived three little girls, Big Sister, Little Sister, and Baby Sister. One evening, their mother had to go visit Popoa, their grandmother. She told the three girls to stay in the house and not to let anyone in. Not long after Mama had left, a wolf walked by the house. He sniffed. <sniffs> what a delicious smell. He could smell three little girls and he was hungry. He knocked on the door. Popoa, cried little sister and baby sister. Is that you? Realizing the girls thought he was their grandmother, the wolf tried to sound like an old lady. Yes, dears, please let your papa in. Before Big Sister could remind them they weren't supposed to let anyone in, Little Sister and Baby Sister rushed to the door and the wolf came inside. Mama had taken their only candle, so it was dark in the house and they couldn't see that the figure they hugged was not their papa, but a wolf. Big Sister was suspicious, though. Popoa, Mama just left to go visit you at your house. Did you not meet her on the road? Oh, I must have taken a different path, said the wolf. Big Sister was not convinced. She felt the wolf's bushy tail and said, Popoa, what is this brush you have? Um, it's so I can dust your house, dear. Big Sister still doubted it was Popoa. She felt the wolf's sharp claws and said, Papa, are these thorns in your hands? Oh, it's, it's roses from my garden. Then Big Sister heard the wolf's stomach growl and knew it was not Papa, but a wolf. And if she didn't do something to save herself and her sisters, they would all be eaten by the wolf. Big Sister had an idea. She said, Papa, have you ever eaten the ginkgo nuts from the tree outside our house? They are so soft and delicious, and whoever eats one will live forever. Well now, the wolf was hungry, and a ginkgo nut was not much of a meal, but he did like the idea of living forever. And a few nuts would make a nice appetizer to a dinner of three little girls. Oh, sweet child, your poor grandmother is so old and her bones so fragile. I cannot climb the ginkgo tree. Could you climb it and pick some nuts for your papa? 
Of course, Papua. Big sister grabbed little sister and baby sister and took them outside to climb the tree. Up in the tree, she told them that it was not their grandmother in the house, but a wolf, and she had a plan to save them. The wolf followed them outside and waited under the tree. Children, bring down some nuts for me, he cried. They are so delicious, Popoa, big sister called, but the magic only works if you pick them directly from the tree yourself. The wolf dearly wanted to live forever now that he had the chance, but he couldn't climb and he was afraid of heights. I already told you I am too weak and old to climb the tree. How will I pick them myself? Big sister said, there is a basket and a rope inside the house. Bring them out and throw the rope up. I will pull you up into the tree in the basket. So the wolf found the basket, tied the rope to it, and threw the rope to Big Sister. She began to pull, but dropped the basket with the wolf in it. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, cried the wolf. I'm sorry, called Big Sister. I'm not strong enough by myself. Little Sister will help me. Big Sister and Little Sister pulled the basket higher this time, but Big Sister coughed, <coughs> and on cue, they dropped the basket again. Oh, 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 cried the wolf. I'm sorry, called Big Sister. We will have to get Baby Sister to help us, too. The three sisters heaved the basket higher and higher. Then Big Sister coughed, and <coughs> on cue, all three sisters let go of the rope, sending the wolf tumbling to the ground. Oh, whoa, 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 boom. Oh, my head. The wolf, his head spinning, ran off into the woods, never to be seen again. Once they were sure he was gone, the three sisters climbed back down the ginkgo tree, went inside, and didn't let anyone in until Mama came home. The end. So what did you think of that story? Did you like it? Was it a lot like Little Red Riding Hood? Were you scared by the wolf? I was a little bit scared. That clever big sister saved the day with some imaginative problem solving. Well, my friends, today's story time has to come to a close, but never fear because I will be back next week with another fun story and music. Thank you for coming.